everyone welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to download the landsat 8 image using google earth engine so let's get started so landsat 8 image has around 11 different bands so eight bands of 30 meter resolution and one band of 15 meter resolution that is a panchromatic band and two bands of 100 meter resolution so to download a landsat 8 image into uh, using google earth engine first we have to load our landsat 8 image so to load our Landsat 8 image in Google Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called, we have to define a variable called, variable called image equals to double e dot image collection Landsat, Landsat 8, collection 1, tire 1, surface reflectance. And the next we have to filter with a specific uh, timeline, that is, next we have to uh, filter with a specific date. So to filter with a specific date, we have to define dot filter date and with a specific timeline from 2000, 2000 January 1 and up to 2017 December 31st. So next we have to define with our study area. So next we have to define with our study area. To define uh, with a uh, specific study area, we have to use dot filter bound ROI. So here ROI represents a region of interest. So let me show you that. So this is called, this is my region of interest. So this is Chennai. So I have drawn a polygon, a square polygon, that is it is my study area. So now let me show you how to draw a polygon in Earth Engine. So let me delete this one, go to the option settings and let me delete this, click OK. So now let me draw a polygon, click this option called draw rectangle. So let me choose a specific study area. So let me choose this. So I have selected, this is my study area and uh, it is called, a region, it is my region of interest. So go to the option called a variable geometry. When you define a polygon, it automatically generates a variable called geometry. Now let me uh, remove this name called geometry and define as ROI. ROI means a region of interest. So now I have defined as a ROI, variable called ROI, the polygon, so four vertices. So these are the four vertices and this is my study area for the region of interest. So now we have filtered with a specific study area. So we have filtered with a specific study area called ROI. So ROI represents region of interest. So here we have defined our polygon. So next we have to sort with the cloud cover uh, so next we have to sort with the satellite image with the least cloud contamination. So in order to sort with the least uh, cloud contamination, we have to define dot sort cloud cover and dot first. So first here represents, so the satellite image will be as, uh, arranged in the ascending order with the first image will be of least contaminated cloud, uh, least cloud contaminated image. So in order to acquire the least, uh, least cloud contaminated image, we have to define this function called dot first. So next we have to define our visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image. So define our visualization parameter, we have to define a variable called visparam true equals to bands. So here we are using three different bands, that is band 4, band 3 and band 2. So let me show you that band 4 to band 3. So you can able to see that here the band 4 is red, band 3 is green and band 2 is blue. So we are using band 4 band 3 and band 2 that is of 30 meter resolution so the band 4 band 3 and band 2 so with the minimum reflectance of 0 to a maximum of 3000 and we set our gamma value to 1.4 so next we have to add our visualize that is we have to add our landsat 8 image into our earth engine we have to define map dot add layer image so image here represents our landsat 8 image so map dot add layer image this param so refers to visualization parameter with true color composite so it refers to this refers to this variable called this param true and i'll put the layer name as landsat 2017 so next we have to define another layer so map dot add layer image dot clip roi so the image will be clipped based on our study area that is our region of interest that is our study area or region of interest ROI and with the visualization parameter this param true it represents to this variable that is variable called this param 
and I'll put the lay name as and I'll put the lay name as Landsat 2070 SCA. SCA here represents the study area. So next, in order to center our uh, layer, we have to define map dot center object ROI and with the zoom level of 10. So ROI represents of a study area or region of interest. This one, this is of a study area or our region of interest. So here you can able to see that we have a uh, we have added two layer two uh, scenes. One is of entire scene of Landsat 8 image, and second, we have clipped our uh, Landsat uh, scene with a specific study area with our study area. So this one. So at last, we have defined to our order center of a layer. We define map dot center object ROI the zoom level of 10. So now let me uh, run this code. Go to the option called Run Script. Click Run Script. So now we have uh, imported our entire Landsat 8 image of this uh, specific study area. So let me show you the layers. We have two different layers. One layer is of entire, the entire Landsat scene of 2017 of the Chennai. Let me uh, show you that. So this is our, let me turn this off. And another layer, it is of our study area. So we have clipped using our study area. So let me zoom in. So now you can able to see, now let me uh, turn this layer off, ROI layer. So now you can clearly able to view, we have uh, clipped our Landsat 8 image with our study area. So this is one layer and this is our Landsat of entire scene. So we have two different layer. One is one layer of his entire study area and second layer that is we are clipped with our using our region of interest study area. So now let me export our satellite image to our drive. So to export our satellite image to into drive we have to define. So to export our Landsat 8 image into our to our drive to our Google Drive, we have to define export dot image dot to drive. So image here represents our Lands uh, Landsat 8 image and drive represents our Google Drive. And next we are define image that is image dot in 16. So this is a function. So image refers to a Landsat 8 image and description. So giving our layer name. So for description, we're giving the layer name as Landsat 2017 Chennai. And uh, we also define scale value that is our spatial resolution. It is around 30 meters. So Landsat 8 image has a spatial resolution of 30 meters. And specifically, we are choosing our region of interest. That is this one. So let me show you that. So now we are specifically choosing our region of interest, this specific spot of Chennai. So if we define the region as ROI, and to a max pixel, we have to, we have to define our max pixel range. That is, one to the uh, one into ten to the power of thirteen number of pixels. So now, uh, so now we can export our satellite image to our drive. And let me show you one more thing. So we have two different layers. One layer is of our region of interest. Another layer is of Landsat of entire scene. So uh, you can also uh, import the entire scene of this Landsat image just by renaming the ROI to image. So if you define as a ROI to image, you can export entire Landsat 8 image to your Google Drive. So for now, I will choose my study area, region of interest, that is this one. So this, this is my study area or region of interest. So I will export this to my Google Drive. So now go to the option called Run. Now click Run Script. So now you can able to view that in the task section, click the task section. So now you can able to see. So now to export our Landsat 8 image to our Google Drive, we have to click, uh, click this option called Run Script. So you can uh, not run to this specific uh, icon that is Run, click this option.
So now uh, an option is popped up. So it says that. So we have our uh, file name that is Landsat 2017 Chennai. And this is a coordinate reference system and spatial resolution of 30 meter. So we are exporting to our drive. You can also enter your uh, drive folder to export to it to your drive folder. And file name is, is Landsat 2017. The file format is of GeoTIFF. So georeferenced uh, TIFF. So now let me export this. Click or click this option called run. So now you can able to view that the export is being uh, processing now. It will take uh, less than a minute to export to our drive. So now we can able to see that our Landsat 8 image has been exported to my drive. So the export has been completed. So runtime is around 18 seconds. It took around 18 seconds to uh, export the Landsat 8 image to my drive. So you can also view or view this image uh, going to the option called open and drive. So in this video, I have shown you how to download the Landsat 8 image using Google Earth Engine. And also you can uh, clip using your specific study area and export to your drive. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.